Welcome back my darling children. How are you all feeling today? Are you ready for today's story? What shall we do blue kangaroo? Lily is bored. She wants to do something. But she doesn't know what. And she turns to her blue kangaroo for ideas. Join us to see what all Lily and her blue kangaroo do throughout the day. Blue kangaroo belonged to Lily. He was her very own kangaroo. Sometimes when Lily didn't know what to do next, she would say, What shall we do, blue kangaroo? But blue kangaroo didn't know, so he said nothing. Lily went to see what Aunt Florence was doing. Will you draw a dinosaur for me? asked Lily. Not just now, said Aunt Florence, maybe. Later. Oh well, said Lily, I'll have to try and do it by myself. Lily drew five dinosaurs all by herself and Blue Kangaroo thought how clever she is. That's enough of drawing, said Lily. Now what shall we do, Blue Kangaroo? But Blue Kangaroo didn't know, so he said nothing. Lily went to see what Aunt Jemima was doing. Can you help me make a picnic? asked Lily. I am a bit busy just now, said Aunt Jemima. Oh, said Lily, then I will just have to do it by myself. Lily arranged all the animals and gave them their tea all by herself. And Blue Kangaroo thought she did that very well. When the animals had finished eating and everyone was full, Lily said, Now what shall we do, Blue Kangaroo? But Blue Kangaroo didn't know, so he said nothing. Lily went to see what her mother was doing. She was helping Uncle George. Will you read my book to me? asked Lily. Not at the moment, Lily, said her mother. But I bet you can read the book all by yourself. Lily wasn't sure, but she began to read. She discovered she could do it all by herself, thought Blue Kangaroo. He loved being read too. Suddenly, Lily noticed that it was raining outside. Someone help me get the animals in, she cried. But nobody came. I'll just have to do it myself, said Lily. She put all the wet animals into her wheelbarrow and ran back into the house. Then she lined them up on the warm radiator to dry and Blue Kangaroo noticed that someone was missing. Now what shall we do, Blue Kangaroo? asked Lily. I wonder what Daddy is doing. Her father was trying to get the baby to stop crying. Oh, Lily, he said, what shall we do? I'll read to him, said Lily. Can you read all by yourself? asked her father. Yes, said Lily, all by myself. Soon Lily's little brother was fast asleep. Thank you, Lily, said her father. You are clever. I don't know what I'd do without you. When Lily's mother tucked her up in bed that night, she said, Thank you for being so good today. And Blue Kangaroo thought, She's forgotten Tiny Teddy. What shall we do? But Lily had fallen asleep, so she said nothing. When the house was quiet, Blue Kangaroo hopped out of bed. I'll just have to rescue him all by myself, he thought. It was dark and still raining, but Blue Kangaroo found Tiny Teddy. He dragged him across the garden and pulled him through the cat flap. Then he propped him up against the radiator to dry. When Lily woke up the next morning, she found a wet kangaroo beside her. What have you been doing, Blue Kangaroo? she asked. It was only when she went downstairs that she realized what had happened. Oh, poor tiny Teddy, said Lily. 
Lily kissed blue kangaroo's damp nose. You are clever blue kangaroo, said Lily. What would I do without you? Blue kangaroo didn't know. So he said nothing. So kids, did you see how Lily managed to do so many things by herself and keep herself occupied? Thank you for listening. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel.